The Southwind Coach Conversation brought to you by Dave's Collision Shop and Becker Hardware. Chatting here with head coach Jason Ort as they get set for the playoffs this week against East Buchanan. And coach last week ended up playing on Thursday night, got the shutout victory over BCLUW. Uh, what were your takeaways from last week's contest? I was really impressed with uh, how our kids prepared in the short week. Um, you know, they had a short week, obviously, too, and and it was kind of an interesting matchup with some of the things that they were doing offensively and a lot of the trick plays that they uh, had installed and and uh, some of the spread concepts that they were doing we really hadn't seen this year with the Jet Series and things like that. So they also had a really talented wide receiver, uh, probably one of the better ones in the district that we had to game plan for too. And, and I just felt like our kids really – did a great job. And I was really impressed, told them how proud I was for them for, for getting ready on, on a short, short week and, and uh, executing a, a tough game plan just because we were seeing some things that we weren't accustomed to. And how did you handle that mentally? You found out Wednesday, the game was going to be on Thursday as compared to Friday. Uh, I'd imagine that uh, causes a little bit of adjustment in the practice plan uh, for the week. Uh, how did you handle that in a preparation standpoint? Well, we eliminated some of the hitting that we usually do. Wednesday is actually one of our big hitting days uh, traditionally in practice week. So we kind of ease back on that a little bit. And then uh, we just had to make sure that we had all the special teams uh, accounted for. We 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 typically run a couple spe uh, areas that we really want to strive and work on during the week and then and then tie everything up on Thursday. Uh, so, so we had to kind of do that and adjust on, on Wednesday as well, but it wasn't that big of an issue just because of how late in the season it is. And, and plus, like I said, the kids were really doing a good job with the film study and getting ready to go. And defensively, uh, you pitched a shutout last week, gave up uh, just over 150 yards of total offense and had a couple of takeaways. I know your defense has been reasonably consistent throughout the season, but how have they gotten better through the first eight weeks? We've been able to move some kids around and still get the same production. And, and so we've got a couple of kids that are playing linebacker safety. Uh, we got a couple of kids that are playing safety corner, a couple of guys that are playing D-line linebacker. And so that that flexibility allows for us, well, if that 12th guy has to come in or whatever, we're able to juggle the lineup and still have a really solid 11 guys out there, we feel like. And and I think that that's been the number one thing is kids having that diversity and, and playing multiple positions. And he also had two 100-yard rushers that last week, uh, 337 yards uh, on the ground, 6.6 .6 yards per carry. What made your offense uh, click, uh, especially on the ground last week? The option element. Uh, we, we had, you know, Kyle Kaboshik did a nice job with the dive, and and we were getting some solid chunks there. Um, and, then, and then Brady Ort was really opportunistic, had a lot of good pull reads, and took advantage of those and had, had some big explosive plays on the outside beer. Uh, we, we ran a little bit more inside beer, um, which we kind of got away from a little bit from earlier in the season, but uh, we really wanted to kind of establish that, get back to that a little bit for the postseason. So now we have kind of that dual threat in our option game, whether we can hit you inside or outside. And then uh, just, you know, just our straight wedge dive play has been really good for us too. Um, and, and we had some shots and play action. We had a nice throw for a touchdown in the flat. Um, kids just executed really well on offense. And uh, after starting on three, you've now won five games in a row. How confident is this team heading into the postseason? Oh, it, it confidence is high. I, I feel like we we know that um, you know we had to deal with a little bit of adversity at the beginning of the year with some injuries and whatnot, and we also had a really tough schedule. I mean, you know the the three teams that uh, you know we lost to are all playing really good football and are all in the postseason as well, and and two of those we feel like we could have won. So. Um, you know, we're, we're in a good spot. Um, we know from here on out, everybody's zero and zero and it's week to week and, and you just got to match up and, and take care of business and, and do, do things well. And, and, you know, also hope for a couple breaks along the way too, because the other team you're playing is really good. And East Buchanan going to be your opponent. Uh, what do you like about them on film? You know, we, we're, we've seen them. I mean, they were in our district the last two years and, uh, it just seems like those kids will never graduate in that senior class. <laughs> um, you know, we're we're in a different place than when we played them the last couple of years, you know, um, in district play. And and we feel like we are a more mature, more physically ready 
team to play against them, and we're going to need that. Um, they're obviously very physical. Uh, they've got two two really outstanding uh, running backs that are seniors, their fullback and tailback in the wing tee. They do some wishbone stuff too as well. And, and you know, and they got a special talent in, in the Fox kid on the offensive line. So, you know, with those three guys, they, they build their team around those three guys. And, and But we feel like we have a really solid nucleus of players too as well. Uh, we may not have some of those all-state standouts that they have across on their field, on their sideline, but we have a complete, we feel like we have a complete football team and we're going to give it our best shot. All right, uh, Coach, hopefully uh, you can uh, get a victory uh, this Friday night and we can have another uh, conversation uh, next week. Keep your guys healthy. We wish best luck. All right. Thanks, Darren. Jason Ort, head coach of the Southwind Warriors, brought to you by Dave's Collision Shop and Becker Hardware.